for all of you incessant moaners who complain about tutorials having introductions that are too long, please jump to this time code now. Okay, done. But I do want to introduce this one because there's a reason that I'm doing this video and I want to add context to it. That's how these things work. Right, so if you own the Linksys mm, WRT1900AC router, it's quite an old one now, a bit of a classic. I use the term classic very loosely there because it's not really that old. Uh, but it's, uh, but it, you know, it's been around for quite a few years, but I bet there's still a lot of people out there using it. It's a great router, works brilliantly most of the time, but it does have its little flaws, and Wi-Fi is one of those flaws. It's a bit unstable, has a few problems with it. I find that um, it has caused my router to kind of just randomly crash and lock up a few times, and um, I don't really like that in a router. So, I, well, I've kind of found a solution to it, but here's the problem I was having. Uh, both of us work from home, so me and my partner, we both work from home some of the time, not all the time. So we rely on a decent VPN connection into our office, into our respective office networks. However, the difficulty we were having is that multiple times during the day, the VPN would disconnect and we were blaming the, you know, IT or blaming the VPN as a whole. Or the, And it turns out that it was entirely down to the Linksys and a setting on the Linksys. Now, it sounds stupid, uh, but it, and it's probably related to an incompatibility between the, the, the Wi-Fi cards in our laptops and the settings on the Lin Linksys, because we didn't really experience these problems in, uh, uh, on, the, um, on iPhones and such. But the type of usage is different. You don't require that continuous stream uh, and, uh, you know, that, that, that permanent uptime as you do with a VPN. So I had a bit of a play play around with it, and I'm just going to go into the settings. So this is the open page, uh, the sort of sign-in page for the Linksys. And let me go straight into the wireless settings. So this is not the open WRT um, sort of Lucy environment. This is the default stock factory environment. Okay, so these are the ones that people will be familiar with. So here are my wireless settings, and uh, yes, I have sort of blurred out the um, the passwords and stuff there that I'm using. Now, I only use I don't use the 2.4 gig Wi-Fi settings, so I kind of ignore this for now. This isn't what I'm really interested in. I'm interested in the 5 gig Wi-Fi setting. Now, previously I would have had this set to mixed because mixed gives you the maximum bandwidth available, so that allows a mix of all different types of um, of Wi-Fi to allow the router to push as much bandwidth through as possible. So you know, to give you your 1600 megabits per second, 1.6 gigabits per second. Now you never achieve that, but you know you can get pretty good connectivity well, with this router over Wi-Fi and if you've got a card that supports it. However, having this set to mixed causes a problem and it causes these little disconnections that I was having. So if you are experiencing random crashes, little disconnections every now and then, if particularly if you're using it on VPN, something like that, have a check of this setting and try it on a, a slash N only. I did try it on A only and that works brilliantly too, but unfortunately then you're very much restricted speed-wise to about 25 megabits per second, which is much slower than our connection can do. So A, N gives you a kind of compromise. You are suffering speed-wise because you are then restricted to about 500 megabits per second. But you know what? My connection's not doing more than that anyway and rarely do I need to transfer anything internally over wireless that I'm going to want to do more than that kind of speed. So try setting this to eight, uh, 80211 A slash N only. I've got this preset manually at 40 megahertz and I've got a preset, uh, a channel set uh, fixed as well. Broadcast SID, yes, and the rest of it is pretty standard stuff. Try those settings and seriously, the difference is immense. I can leave my laptop on for days and it will not disconnect from our VPN at all now. Uh, my partner, she can have her laptop on. She has not had one disconnection. She was, we, bear in mind we're having these every single day. We've not had one disconnection. Now this is probably, again I state, uh, related to the Wi-Fi wi card in the laptops that we use at work. Uh, so it might not impact everybody. But if you have had these kind of dropouts, little disconnections, little crashes, try those settings. Try just changing that. See if it works for you. Let me know in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching.